Hi guys, welcome back to Demetra's Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you how to make a red lentil soup, sort of Pakistani style. This is not a Greek recipe, but my husband is from Pakistan and I love Pakistani cuisine. It's that and Greek food is kind of almost at a tie, dare I say. But it's true, it's so yummy, it's so delicious. And I've had requests on here for more vegetarian type meals, even something with turmeric. So this recipe does have turmeric in it. Let me take you over the ingredients. It's so simple to make. And it's one of those recipes that freezes beautifully, so it's easy to make. It takes the same amount of time to make a small batch, a big batch, than it does to make a small batch. So make a big batch, freeze half of it, and then take it out when you don't have time to cook. And that happens to me really often, so I like to have this in my freezer. So you need some red lentils. And this is what they look like. They're really pretty. You need some cumin seeds, olive oil, turmeric powder, red chili powder, salt, and an onion, and some water. Seriously, that's it. There's nothing else to it. So you want to make sure you um, wash your lentils really well because a lot of times they have dirt, sometimes they have bugs in there and you don't want <laughs> bugs in your soup. You want to make sure you wash them about six, seven times in clean, clean water. And when the water runs clear like this, then they're ready to use. I'm going to drain this and put this in my pot with about six cups of water and I'm going to bring it to a boil. All right, so I'm turning my heat on my pot. I have my lentils, my water. I'm going to put my turmeric, my red chili powder, and my salt. Now, red chili powder, you're going to find it in the Middle Eastern stores or the Pakistani Indian grocery stores. It's um, really, really spicy, so make sure you adjust it. You can start with less if you like. This is sort of like a medium spicy because Pakistani food tends, tends to be super duper spicy. This is very tolerable, but if you can't tolerate spice too well, just adjust it to whatever you like. I'm going to give this a mix, and once it comes to a boil, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce my heat to medium and let it cook until the lentils practically melt. It's going to take about just about 25 minutes. And if you have these cast iron enamel pots, use them. They they really shorten cooking time because they cook so evenly and they retain the heat. It's really nice to um, when you're in a real hurry. So I'm going to cover this. Careful uh, to keep watching it because if it boils, it'll definitely come and boil all over your um, thing and make a mess. So I'm going to let this uh, cook until it melts and I'll show you what it looks like. And now I'm just going to finally slice this. Nothing fancy. Just as thin as you can with your knife. Just like that. And since we didn't start off with any onions in our soup, this is a very quick, quick way to cook them. We're going to roast these over the fire with a little bit of oil. I'm using olive oil until they're nice and golden. And then lastly, we're just going to add our cumin seeds as soon as that's done. Let's take a look at our soup. And it has thickened beautifully. Let me show you what it looks like. So the lentils have melted pretty much. And I didn't have to puree this or anything. It's completely nice and smooth. And look at that beautiful yellow color. Now if it starts to get a little too thick, as, as it sits, it gets thicker and thicker. So I'm just going to add a little bit more water, maybe like a cup. Leave it as, you know, to the thickness that you prefer. And in the meantime, I'm going to let my onions get nice and golden. And then we will add our cumin seeds to it. All right, so the lentil soup, this is what the consistency should be like. Perfect. Look what a nice big batch it makes. So if you don't need this much, you can make half. But why not make a big batch and freeze whatever you don't need? And the onions are coming up perfectly. They're cooking over, they're frying over a medium high heat. And as soon as they're a little bit more golden, we'll add the cumin seeds in there. You don't want to add the cumin seeds too early because they will burn pretty quick. They just need a few seconds in the oil just to kind of like toast them a bit. Now while that was going on, I chopped up a really nice salad with cucumbers and onions and tomatoes and I just chop them all up really fine. I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil to this because this adds some really nice freshness to your meal. And this salad reminds me of Greece. Just the smell is to die for. Some salt. I'm going to mix it all up. I've also cooked 
a nice batch of basmati rice and you can I'll put the link in the descri description box it's on my website it's on this channel and it's super easy to make now the onions when they've reached this color let me reduce the heat on this I can actually turn the heat off of my soup can you see the onions perfectly mm -hmm. okay so when they've reached reach this color just like that I'm gonna add my cumin seeds and just let them cook for about 30 seconds to a minute and they're gonna get toasty and extra flavorful just like that it's done now carefully make sure your heat is off add this to your lentil soup and you should hear that sizzle that's important give it a nice big stir take a taste of it and check and make sure if it needs any more seasoning any more salt or pepper and then we'll put it all together and I'll show you how I eat it okay so it's ready I have some rice here because this is how we eat it at our house I, I always have some white rice with this and I pour it I pour the lentil soup or also known as dal over my rice and I like more soup and less rice so I like my ratio to be really high I put some salad on the side because that makes it nice and fresh and delicious and then I like to make a yogurt sauce with some Greek yogurt and this goes together so nice so I take some Greek yogurt because it's really nice and creamy I put a tiny bit of salt on here now I make something called a chutney which is basically ground up serrano chili peppers with garlic and a little bit of water and salt and it's super duper spicy now I can teach you how to make this if you like um, if you um, you don't you don't need this actually but I like my food really spicy so if you want to just make this without this uh, spicy sauce just add some black pepper to this and it'll be perfect mix it all together let me show you how it comes together it's really pretty I really like spicy food so the yogurt kind of cools it down and adds some creaminess to this dish and it's vegetarian, it's healthy, it's very, very flavorful, and it's also economical. So one big pot of Okay, so we're back. So nothing like your battery dying on you when you're about to finish the show. But anyway, we charged up the battery and I think I have a good like few seconds left. So anyway, so this is one way of eating it and this way is delicious with rice and the salad and the yogurt with the spicy sauce in it is to die for now remember if you want me to teach you how to make it it literally comes together in just under two minutes just comment down below and I'll show you how to make the spicy green sauce but if you want to eat this as a soup then of course go ahead and pour it into a nice deep bowl warm up some crusty bread and just enjoy it just like that make sure put a scoop of the yogurt in it though because it really does make it more um, delicious and more rounds out the flavor now if you want all the recipes go on my website www.demetriusdishes.com post your comments down, be down below take pictures of what you've made and post it on my facebook page and i'll see you guys next time bye everyone